Hey, this is Vinny from EVL Gaming, and I uh, thought I'd make a quick video because a lot of people seem to not play Viaduct correctly. So what I have here is a clip from, or the whole match I played for an ETF2L team called Twisted Esports, and they're playing against Legolander, which is a Prem team. Which, which is the excuse me the six is prem team lego stacking in i want to say etf2l high i'm not actually quite sure uh i've just been playing for these guys in playoffs so uh i'm gonna start this up and i'll talk about everything i'm doing Just before anything starts, I know I can already feel a lot of people are going to ask. Uh, my HUD that I'm using right now is Noto HUD. It is not my normal HUD, but I needed something to use. So first shot, I like to go for flank players. So this way my flank can just run through onto their uh, their side very easily. Something else happening with my scope. But uh, right now I'm looking to ho hopefully get a combo pick and maybe that heavy if he comes around. I know my flank has had an easier time since the soldier went down. So there I got the demo. And now, uh, every time I come up left side is usually when I'm going for something risky. Like, to make a play happen. Because we knew they were on crits. So that heavy ended up getting, uh, getting a few players. So I was hoping, um, hoping I'd be able to get their medic or something before that crits went off. End up somehow, uh, somehow being very, uh, very bad crits. Well, obviously because their demo was dead, but we got out with Uber. So I'm going to go back up Cliff and see if I can help clear the point here. Notice I'm looking out for people who are might be on top of Cliff. That could definitely, uh, you know, kill me because, you know, I'm a squishy sniper. So that's an, that's an obscure sniper angle. I almost never check that. But that's, um, coming up on Cliff when there's players on the point often grants you very, very easy kills. Just because they'll be standing still focusing on your team and not you. So here I'm, uh, I'm worried about the sniper. He's been active. He just killed our scout. So I'm trying to I'm trying to find him. He's Zen. He plays scout for Lego. He's very very good at aiming. And naturally on Viaduct, also a sixes map, is uh, his rotations are going to be strong. So I have to watch watch out for him. Now, when I'm playing right side of point in this situation, it's pretty dangerous. I'm going to eat a lot of spam, but it's like a high-risk, high-reward situation. Meaning, I can probably get a combo pick. Unfortunately, there, I didn't. So, me coming back up to Cliff, uh, unfortunately I died, but in a normal situation, me coming back up to Cliff is usually me looking for, uh, especially when they're pushing the point, is me looking, like I said before, a combo pick. I want something that's running right on the point, whether it be the heavy, the demo, something to benefit my team in pushing. Now when the team has the point like that, I like to typically play a little further behind now. I like to play a bit more passive, watch out for uh, snipers and maybe overextending combo players. Their demo actually ate the sniper shot, which was a very dangerous peek by my part. Don't actually know why I took that. But here we've Ubered in, I'm just trying to clean up damage on Cliff, whether it be their flank, uh, their spies are fucking me, so I'm looking out for him too. But, uh, also, this angle here, super important to use, really great for catching snipers that like to play that left side of point, and, uh, getting, com like, flank players and combo players as they move towards that left side. See, exactly, right on the sniper, super easy, he doesn't even know I exist. I believe, he yeah, I got the med here, and, uh, my team is now gonna be able to push up on a severe lack of combo on their part. This pyro is something else, though. So, uh, this team, if I'm not mistaken, had Sorex, Condom, uh, Josh, and, uh, and North American player called Sammy Face, I want to say. I'm not sure what Sammy Face does. I've never heard of them. Or, I've heard of them, however, I, I don't know if they're a, um, a good player or not. All I know is they're not part of, uh, I guess my circle. So here, this is very aggressive, very dangerous, because their flank at any point could do something like that and just knock me right off. However, I'm trying to get that early sniper pick. That was Sammy Face there, like I said, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure who that is, but I know they're from North America as well. 
So here, uh, this is poor positioning on my part, however, their demo is known to get very aggressive, and their sniper has been really tricky on China, so I'm just kind of playing passive, seeing if someone's going to feed me. I don't want to get aggressive and, uh, and die here, just because the numbers are not, uh, numbers are very even. But normally I'd be up on rock and be having an aggressive support for my team. This is more of the situation I should be back with. But since we have Uber, we're able to go right back into them and, you know, kill them. Also on Viaduct as Sniper, it's, uh, it's really good to do aerial denial. You'll see uh, a lot of times the second something goes up in the sky, I'm shooting at it. And uh, I, th I was very much rewarded for it here in this game. You'll see uh, later on. bit of lag there but nothing too serious I wish um if I were to edit this I'd probably edit all this out but I don't think I will honestly because I, I might end up uh, bringing up some talking points eventually during that time so here I see them on the point again it's just just basic stuff peeking cliff when they're on the point often rewards you that heavy really shouldn't have peeked again he got greedy that sniper just totally destroyed me I even pre-aimed it that guy was ready very uh, very good play on his part. They're, um, if I'm not mistaken, Zen very much like to play on Rock this game. Meaning that he is very difficult to get off provided they keep him buffed. So I'm going to go for some really dumb angle shots and uh, hopefully get rewarded. I believe you'll see me uh, going to one of, my, uh, one of my favorite spots on this map relatively soon. However, I'm not uh, certain. So uh, over here, actually, I want to I wanna talk about this. When I come up on concrete, I'm expecting to die, but I want to trade. That's my goal of going up there. So I got their demo, and that's a perfect pick for my team to go in, because their demo is most certainly the strongest player, Josh from LEGO. So I sacrificed my life in order to get their combo, or get a combo pick, and now we have Uber, so we can run right in. And that was, uh, that was the main goal of all that. I knew I was going to die on concrete, which is why I picked it, just so I can get a really, really risky pick. So like I said before, with uh, with playing aggressive on right side, it's high risk, high reward. Just uh, basic shit, you know, point coverage at the end of the round is super important. Making sure that no one uh, can just run in and you know, a tricky spy will go for your med or something, something big on the point. So, uh, just when the when the game's ending, it's really good to be playing on cliff, especially if you're just coming up. So, uh, Zen knows I roll out here now, and uh, I should have probably changed things up, but like I said, I just want to make things easy on my flank. Their sniper's dead already, due to, uh, I think our soldier killed him. I got their scout, so we have a, it's a relatively easy mid. However, I don't think I live. So uh, we cleaned, uh, our soldier ended up getting their soldier, very easy, nothing too, uh, nothing too bad me dying there, however their sniper is up before me, so I'm going left side because he'll likely be on cliff and I'll see if I can get something. And as I say, left side is a very, uh, very tricky place to hold, you really gotta, you gotta get a feel for when to hold it or not. Because uh, right now, anybody could walk through that connector, similar to that demo, and just destroy me. Uh, I'm going to say that was not a lucky shot on that sniper. But like I said, after I get those two, I just get traded out immediately. So when you're going left side, expect to die. Don't, ex like, don't get mad at your team for not protecting you. Just expect to die there. Because there's, there's nothing they can really do to protect you. People on concrete have the distinct advantage over people on stairs. So we're recapping, as I've been saying over and over again, just uh, play up on cliff, make sure the point gets cleared for your team. And also, before I mentioned aerial denial, super big, whether it's you or your heavy. So, um, yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty good crits from them. There's nothing much I could do there, like I was just jumping off cliff. I can't, uh, I can't say there was really a way to avoid that. I would have died one way or another, I think. Yeah, they, uh, they played really, really good post-crits, too. So, there's nothing much I can do but help my team retake it here. Hopefully get, run up on Cliff and get a few good picks. It's 
so that's Pyro allowing my spy to go get something. I can't say I went out of the went out of my way to go try to kill Pyro, but uh, definitely like any pick helps in this situation just to get yourself out of the gridlock of uh, of having all players up trying to run on the point. So here I am on concrete again. Just I know I'm gonna die the second that demo is gonna call me out, and I'm I'm probably gonna die very soon. Unless, of course, my team pushes them out. So, one of the very few times you're not going to die on concrete is, uh, is like that. Just because of, uh, just because of how my team was pushing it. See, they were forcing everybody out. They pushed, like, a wall across viaduct, uh, across the viaduct point, and I feel like that's really the best way to take, uh, that's really the best way to force everybody completely off point because everybody's running. So, uh, just getting whipped up to, uh, Cliff here. I always like to roll out here, even if we have the point, just to make sure nothing cheeky's gonna come up on, a. Uh... God, I said cheeky. But just to make sure nothing, uh, nothing's gonna come up on concrete. So, uh, I know their sniper's gonna be up very soon, so I come get a buff and I play on rock waiting for him. I notice a lot of snipers like to play over on rock. Uh, it's really not my personal preference, but, uh... You know, it's, it's a very strong sightline. I like to play more on the pocket. And, uh... Just, uh... Because it's very difficult to... It's more difficult to get people off pocket than rock, in my opinion. Just because you can, uh... Take, uh, take advantage of snipers not paying it, uh, full attention when they're standing on rock. But pocket, you're really only looking forward. You only have to worry about what's in front of you. So here, I'm just fucking around. Like, I'm not, not doing anything... I should or shouldn't be, it's just taking pot shots. Like, my team is on their cliff, we're hold, forward holding. I have nothing really required to do. However, I do like to go over to concrete side when, uh, when we're about to push forward. Also, really interesting thing. I very much like that sightline over on the ground looking into main rather than all the other sightlines looking into main, almost because it's uh, somewhat of an off angle, as people in Counter-Strike would say. It's not somewhere, like, everybody's gonna expect you to peek. And, uh, so, you know, most people peek main from Japan, which is the little, uh, left side of China. They'll peek it from rock, and they'll peek it from, uh, on top of the boxes, but I like to just come up right on the hill and go for it. So, here, if I'm not mistaken, I roll out, yeah. I roll out right side to hopefully get their demo, or someone, someone running up aggressive right side on this mid. To just uh, make things way easier for my team, because I'm not I'm not worried about their sniper, and I'm not really I'm not worried about much here. But now that I now that their sniper's gotten a pick, I'm rotating. So there's really a God that was awful. <laughs> but again, I'm over here on concrete, and uh, I wouldn't like I I just I can't get upset if I get traded out here. I have to know that. A big, uh, a big thing about playing over here is you getting pushed out like this. So, um, I'm not actually sure who's up. I wish I could hit tab and tell you, but uh, this game was quite a while ago, so I, I'm, I don't remember everything about it. But again, that's all about the uh, it's aerial denial is huge here, especially if you can get damage off on the soldier before they make it your combo, which is more of your heavy's jurisdiction to go uh to go air deny jumpers and shit but um it's really all the hit scan classes job naturally so ng's with their minis heavies scouts you know standing on rock and uh snipers just playing passively i see my flank is fighting so i'm playing over here rather than anywhere else so i can help my flank because my combo they've definitely got it unlocked we have uber we have everybody up and we're aggressive on right side so the weakest aspect there is going to be someone coming up left and uh, allowing their sniper space to get our mid. What the hell is happening with my scope? So this is very bad. Uh, I get out somehow. But um, there's really just not much for me to do here other than stare at angles and try and get a little bit of heals. Just, uh, just because of the nature of power holding. See, even our soldier's doing my job for me, so there's really just not much for me to do. 
It was, uh, at that point, it was dangerous for me to play up on rock because people could have gotten in left. Also, another big thing on Viaduct, really any map especially, is making sure that crits happen. So if you know they have crits on, uh, if you know they have, you really gotta keep your eyes out for a demo or med pick. Because that means, that means halting the entire crits. I think I get a little salty at this fucking guy here. I think, uh, I think I said something rude in chat. Yep, I did. <laughs> but, uh, we lost the point off that crits. Uh, naturally, these are very good players, so their critses will typically be very good as well. Even though they lost their demo in that. They still, they still managed to get the post uber play and be very, uh, very, very capable. However, as Sixes players typically do, they don't respect sniper sightlines, and this is a perfect example of people getting punished for not respecting said sightlines. Uh, I'm not actually sure how much time is left. I believe, uh, I believe it's one more round after this. But uh, I'm down, which makes things very difficult for my team, and they still managed to do it because just because I got that demo pick right before I died. I'm gonna come up main here and see if I can help. Uh, see if I can help my good friends on the blue team. But uh, I find also it's really it's better it's better to scope in somewhere where you think someone might be to not than to not scope in. Like you saw when I ran up on porch. Like, there really shouldn't have been someone I could scope at. But, you know, there was a possibility that someone might be there and be able to hurt my team from there, so I did it anyway. And then I, as you saw, the Heavy and the Heavy and a bunch of other classes came up right after I, uh, right after I scoped in. So it turned out to be, a uh, almost an area denial. You don't necessarily have to get the frags on Sniper, you just have to be scaring them enough to, uh, not peek your sight lines and to, um... Even doing 150 damage, like taking the 150 body shot on someone is enough to get them to back out, and sometimes it's as good, if not better, than a kill, just because they're out of the fight bothering their med now, or running to get a pack, so they can regain that 150 HP. Oh, that was all the rounds. Alright, well, um, basically, the, the big thing about Viaduct is, just to go over all my main points, is area denial, looking out for crits and trying to get a combo pick right before them or during them, you know, to halt them, and really, uh, really, really trying to, uh, remain scoped in somewhere just, just to, or somewhere useful, just to keep people off of your team and prevent them from peeking that angle. And, you know, rotating frequently to keep those angles dynamic and make sure people can't come through somewhere and get sniped is uh, super important. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's about it.